Now, when we talk about revenue, one needs to differentiate the revenue from profit. Revenue in accounting terminology means the gross amount of income that you have earned during the period. Now, when we say gross income, that basically refers to the gross proceeds. For accrual basis of accounting, it refers to the revenue accrued. Profit is nothing but the difference between the revenue and the expenses. But profit is not relevant for the purpose of eligibility of small business deals. What is revenue? Relevant is gross revenue. So if a company is engaged into sale of goods, the money that it receives for its goods from sale of goods during the tax period, and any other revenue, let's say for example, if it has sold certain assets, then the receipt from the sale of those assets, that is something that is going to constitute the revenue during the particular period. The second important aspect is that the revenue has to be computed based on the arm's length principle. What that means is that if a company has a transaction with a related party or a connected person, and all these are covered as a part of our course, the detailed course which is there, then those have to be stated as if they were transactions between unrelated parties. In other words, the revenue that you get should not be understated Expenses should not be overstated. Once you prepare your financial statement on the basis of arm's length criteria, that is where you need to see whether the revenue is at an arm's length and it is exceeding or otherwise meeting the 3 million threshold. But like I said, revenue and profit needs to be differentiated. The eligibility is based on the revenue and not on the profit.